I always try to make my own bread so I know what's in it instead of having lots of artificial preservatives and stuff it's best to make your own bread I thought of sharing another different recipe today vanilla bread rolls for this recipe I am using 380 grams of bread flour with 20 grams sugar and I have two vanilla pods and I am going to take the the middle out from this and a pinch of salt and I am using liquid vanilla too about a tablespoon two eggs and 100 milliliters of water if you like you can add milk I prefer water here then you can sandwich it with the savory um, filling too so always the water level depends on the size of the egg that you are using so to start this recipe add the bread flour into a mixing bowl and into that salt and I forgot to show you the yeast 7 grams instant dry yeast and the sugar 1 tablespoon vanilla liquid and I'm going to add the vanilla for the stew in it and mix it well next add the two eggs and keep on mixing another two minutes and I can't remember whether I showed you the butter it's about 25 grams add that into the mixing bowl too and now the water add water little by little until it makes a smooth dough and keep on kneading 25 minutes so when the dough is ready put that in a grease bowl leave it in a warm place until it double in size the dough for the vanilla rolls ready so put some flour onto the bench and punch the dough and put the dough onto the bench and this dough is a bit stickier dough so always add more flour and knead it until the stickiness is not there at all so I'm going to knead this about two minutes on the bench after cut the dough into equal parts and then take one part out and roll it nicely to the underneath part and just roll it using your palm and leave that in a, on a tray to prove again about 30 to 40 minutes the vanilla rolls are ready so I'm going to brush the tops with eggs and bake this on 180 about 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown on top the vanilla rolls are ready and I'm going to leave that on a wire rack to cool down and if I take one to show you how soft and moist it is it's really soft moist you can use a savory filling in this or even have with jam and butter and hope you will enjoy this thank you for watching